When everyone is familiar with the Thousand Talents Plan, who hears about China's Hundred Talents Plan? When did the Hundred Talents Plan begin? The Hundred Talents Plan started in 1995. The Jiang family initiated all of these plans. The Jiang family is one of the most important figures, started from the Institute of Physics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences to the Hundred Talents Plan in 1995 and to the Thousand Talents Plan in recent years. The most central figure is the one that everyone had forgotten, Wang Enge, the husband of Gu Dongmei, the Deputy Secretary General of the Institute of Physics and the former President of Peking University. The CCP dispatched Wang, a spy with a triple identity, as its most successful overseas agent. He, an academic, played an important role in the CCP's BGY, blackmail, bribery, and honey trap strategy for the entire academic community. Second, as a technical spy, he steals Western technologies. The third and most central one is to penetrate into the heart of the U.S. politics and economy. He was undoubtedly the representative who applied the CCP's BGY strategy to its friendly relations. Are you surprised by this revelation? Let's look up a professor named Wen Xiaogong at MIT, academician Tiangong from the Beijing Institute of Mathematics, and Professor Niu Qian from Peking University. Take a good look at these people. Everyone also needs to take a look at Huawei, a person named Xu Weiya who is associated with Ren Jingfei, as well as Zhang Chuang, vice chairman of the Chinese Physical Society. Today, we talked about an important point. For the past few decades, the CCP has been able to systematically attack the U.S. and the West economically, technologically, and militarily. They say they look down on the U.S., and the Jiang family has absolute control over it. What does the Jiang family control? The Jiang family controls Shanghai University of Science and Technology. Let's check again. Jiang Mianhong is the president and founder of Shanghai University of Science and Technology. Where does the money come from? Jiang Mianhong is an important leader of China's satellite and moon landing programs. He is also an important promoter of quantum research. He is the key decision maker who has invested the most in China's chip development, with trillions of dollars invested. This is one of the key technologies in the competition between China and the US, and Americans have completely lost it. In this regard, the whole world is definitely losing to the CCP. What is this? This is quantum research. What is quantum research? Today, all our data is our essay encrypted, using the linking method, encryption, and AES. All police and national defense agencies also use the AES-256 security method. This is how the data is encrypted today. We call it 4G. What is the idea behind 5G development? If 4G is 1,000, 5G is probably 1,000 or even 100 million times that. That is, when you're in front of 5G or quantum computers, you have no secrets at all. There are no secrets. The United States is behind in this regard. The United States is fundamentally lagging behind. Among the MIT, Stanford University Institute of Physics, and the Institute of Physics, including the best physics institute in the UK, there is a character who has been following these for decades. Who is this? Wang Enge. Until today, Mr. Wang Enge has been the director of the Institute of Physics and the Institute of Physics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences in China for the past few decades. His wife, Ms. Gu Dongmei, has now joined this institute as well. Wang Enge is also a director of the American Physical Research Association and a director and member of the board of directors of the British Physical Research Association. From the Chinese Academy of Sciences and the Institute of Physics of Peking University, he is the main person in charge of the two physics institutes. Wang Enge was one of the world's top five physics research masters, and his wife was among the top 10. Who are his students, and who are his supporters? One of them is Zhang Shouqing, who has just been committed suicide.